flamingos. Colorful and interesting creatures of the bird world. Anyone who looks at flamingos knows at first glance that they look different from other birds. They attract people not only with their dazzling colors, but also with their very interesting movements. You've probably noticed that there are very few other animal species in the places where they live. These seemingly delicate birds are actually very hardy. They can even live in toxic and hot waters that burn the skin of many animals. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the colorful world of flamingos and their incredible characteristics. Flamingos have a very distinctive body structure. They immediately stand out with their long legs, wide wingspan, curved and stiff beaks, long S-shaped necks, and colors. To understand them well, it is useful to know their characteristics and habitat. The flamingo is a water bird. There are only six living species of these birds. Two of them are found in Africa, Europe, and Asia, while the other four live only in South America. Flamingos live mainly in lagoons, lakes, and muddy wetlands in tropical areas. These are usually fresh, salty, and alkaline waters with plenty of minerals. During the breeding season, they fly to other places when the climate and water levels change. The greater flamingo is at most about 1.45 meters tall and weighs 3.5 kilograms, while the lesser flamingo is about 80 centimeters tall and weighs 2.5 kilograms. The wingspan of the birds ranges from 37 inches, or 95 centimeters, to 59 inches, or 150 centimeters. You can usually see flamingos in various shades of pink, orange, red, gray, and white. They have a color scale from white to red. The most famous ones are the pink ones. But why do flamingos look pink? Or are they really pink? Actually, no species of these birds are pink or red. They are actually pale gray. They are born this way. The pink and red coloration comes later. This is because of the food they eat. These birds are living proof of the saying you are what you eat. They are omnivores. Most plankton is too small to see. Algae gives it its pink color. Flamingos eat a lot of these foods, which contain a red pigment called carotenoid. This pigment also gives foods such as spinach, tomatoes, pumpkin, and carrots their red and orange color. But not all living things are necessarily red. The larvae, algae, shrimps, mollusks, and crustaceans that flamingos eat contain beta-carotene, a type of carotenoid. It is an organic pigment that gives these reddish creatures their color. Most other living things change color when they consume algae. Enzymes in the bird's digestive system break down the food it eats to produce these pigments. The pigments are absorbed by fats in the liver and deposited on the bird's skin, legs, beak, and feathers. For a creature to be so physically transformed, it needs to consume large quantities. The flamingo's diet consists almost entirely of foods that carry these pigments. These pigments are not harmful to birds. The levels of carotenoids in food vary in different parts of the world. This is why not all flamingos are pink. Some are dark pink or bright pink. Others take on shades of orange and red. The rest are pink white and pure white. For example, the American flamingo takes on shades of bright red, orange, and white, while the small flamingos in Kenya are pale pink. If a pink flamingo stops eating foods containing carotenoids, its color will start to change when it molts. It will eventually turn white or pale gray.